rushing yards. And the first since Jay Cutler back in 2002. And they'll run it on first down here. And made it a winner. That's what they need him to do at Vandy. He'll go play action here on second down and eight. Sings one for a first down. Second reaction plays on the run. Screen out to the bubble. That's caught by Cam Johnson. Breaks a tackle. And picks up nine. Yep. Line big game. Marlowe, short of the foot of the doors. And they've got the first down easily. That's it'll be super fast. Sometimes it'll be somewhat quick, and then they'll pace it down slower, changing it up on the defense. JV on Marlowe again. He's already at 37 carries this year. Four-man rush. Seals beats it. That's another first down. The There's a slant, and it is wide open. A keeper and the first negative play. As Seals is met by Andrew. A zone read by Seals. See Chat Beal at the end of the line of scrimmage, and you love that ball to get given to Marlowe. He fights off the block. Create. Mitchell Pryor in the game, a tailback to the left of Seals in the shotgun. And Johnson in motion. Seals with a delayed handoff. And Pryor drags a tackler for about four. Big third down in the red zone for Vanderbilt. And it might be a free play. Brenton Cox jumped off sides. That gives an end catch as Ken Seals took advantage of the free play. What a great job of using cadence and then understanding you got your free play. Stanley push everyone that's around him. A slant that has worked so. Communication defensively from Florida. Marlowe. About two yards. Yeah. So if there's anyone you're going to focus on with your coverage, it would be him. And again, here's Florida late getting set. And Pierce gets the first down. Breaks a tackle. Yeah. So there's got to be a kind of a better community between the coaching and the players. Seals, play action fake, high throw. Pressure, don't be surprised if you try to hit a run here for Vandy. At last incompletion was the first for Seals. He'll loft one down the side. Low tied into hearing the quarterback when they're usually not going to, creating some offsides. Mitchell Pryor, the fourth leading rusher in the SEC that Vanderbilt is without today. Here's Pryor again. Breaks a tackle. He's got a first down. Mount for Vanderbilt's success today. Again jumping in the neutral zone. The Gators. It's a shot play down the sideline. 50-50 ball. Like a basketball play. First and 10 from the 11. A handoff to Mitchell. They're going to get him on the edge and give him that dual threat opportunity. Full zone read. He'll simply hand it off to Marlowe. And Marley Clock. About eight seconds to get it off. Option pitch. Marlowe. Nowhere to go. Vince drive again for Vandy. Look at 51. Right side of the screen. Miller just beats that left tackle. Steen to the point of attack. Florida has won 28. And it's no gain on first down. Pre-snap to get where they need to be. Fire again. Now it's going to be third down and nine. Barely ready. As Seals drops to throw, rifles one to the first down line to gain. It's caught his depth. Pushing vertical, left side of your screen, see Seals, sees Ventrell Miller squeeze, ball comes out on time, and he's got inside leverage. Play action. Seals, long throw down the sideline, drops it in, it's a one hit. Cam Johnson in the slot. You see that safety drop down, you got all that field to go run good to football too. And Cam Johnson by Ken Seals, and you see the tempo from this offense. 35 yards on that grab. Here's Cam Johnson again. Fighting his way for nine more yards. We are attacking this team when we talk to him this week. Second down and one. And that is thrown away with a flag down. 99% chance we don't win the game, but play for the 1%. And then also he said, Florida's tape isn't without flaw. And he made sure his kids believed that. This, you know, there were some big, big shots over the top. This play blown dead before it even gets started. We're good. We're going to steal a play. They got to wait until everyone gets back on their side of the line of scrimmage. Chris Pierce wasn't even close. 
There's a one-handed. Talking about me, and this is an opportunity on national television to show everybody how good I am, and he's performing so far. Out of the pocket here, and makes a good decision to throw it away. Onside kick, but it was a moment for me to kind of validate I felt like I was good enough to be in the league. Fryer. And he will pick up a couple of yards. Well, he's going to have to flash it here on third down and eight. The blitz came. Because the way this first half has gone, it's going to be difficult to put them in your top four, especially with the loss to AM so at five because of that head to head loss. After the injury timeout, seals back to work. Incomplete. Flash. If you're Vanderbilt offensively now. Down goes Seals. Trust mashups as you can. Right side of your screen. He's one on one versus a true freshman. I would not do that if I was Vanderbilt. And now they shift the protection that way as Seals puts Marlowe to his right and then hands it to him. And Marlowe makes it third. And leader, according to Todd Grantham, is Ventrell Miller, who has that right shoulder issue. Here, big fella, here's the jump ball. Go make the play. So now Ken Seals with all three of his timeouts. Incomplete. His receiver. Four-man rush, Seals rolling away, out of the pocket, off his back foot, throws it away. Delayed handoff, and it's going to be well short of the first down, although fighting for whatever he... Bob Wischusen, Dan Orlovsky, Paul Carcaterra, JV on Marlowe. He just struggled getting the ball out of his hands to the right spot, so they got to settle him in early in this drive. Marlowe. Now they're going to be faced with third down. Seals, slam, right at the first down line. The referee stopped, headed that way. In that case, the replay official will almost always go ahead and stop the game to prevent the timeout from having to take place. Seals, That's now with second down to 25. Seals, out in the flat to Abdur Rahman. He runs a man over. We're running guys on. Four-man rush, out of the pocket, Seals, right through the hands. It's a great job by Seals, getting outside the pocket, Cox goes inside, Bresnahan open, that's such a tough throw. He's moving to his left, Bresnahan... Similar path from off of the radar screen to the very top. This run is... Play well, it's going to come down to that SEC title game, how he performs against Alabama, if they win, and what his impact on that win is going to be. Stall the game. No question. Seals off play action. Rifles one up the seam. Breaking a tackle is Chris Pierce. He's in the open field. Still on his feet. Touchdown. He's today. It's a great job in the slot. Cross that safety's face. Run away. Physical. Your big six foot four, 230 pound body. Steiner, don't bring you down. Time they had it, they take over again. And they'll run it up the middle. With One of those receivers goes downfield and makes a catch for you like you did early in this game. It's a first down carry, keeping his feet, Rocco Griffin. Right up the middle. And that time. Towards the line of scrimmage, can they take their play action shot? There is a play action fake. Seals, nowhere to go. And finally whistles. This is a great job. Watch the pressure off the left. The motion comes. And the secondary guy follows. And then it's just pure bodies jump ball downfield. He is just out of the picture to the top of your screen. Seals instead looks left. Throws one right. Cam Johnson. Sevens in the slot, bottom of the screen. Gators rush four. Seals on the slant, first down. Tight end, able to convert on fourth down. It's a great job by Seals. Catch the snap, confirm the coverage. All these bodies near the line of scrimmage. Run it right into the heart of that Gator defense with Mitchell Pryor. Send the slot to the near side. They'll run it that way. A yard shy of the first. Ninth play of the drive. And easily picking up the first down is Rocco. Against this Vanderbilt offense that's feeling good. Oh, they've got it. 
Solid drive going. Seals. That ball pops out. And it ends up in the hands of Grant Miller as center. They pick up the illegal touching foul, but it's a loss for Vanderbilt back outside the 30-yard line. And I hate the play call. We were just in break sitting here, and I'm and the one thing I said was be disciplined. On a rollout at Seals. Rifles one up the seam. Pressure. And that's incomplete. One yard line, and the Gators go 99 yards. And Seals will hand this one off to Mitchell. Continues to play out. Teams right at the top of the pole. Winning big games. Seals. It's going to come down to. He said, look, be honest, guys, it's going to come down to the game against Alabama. Here's Cam Johnson spinning out to midfield. The ball pops out. Was he down? Trey Dean's got it. And now the play is blown dead. Receiver. It looks like they've got a pretty good future at quarterback with Ken Seals. He's acquitted himself quite nicely today. Seals, another accurate throw. Played twice as many. We've had Northwestern this year. Good, good defense. That's going to challenge that Wisconsin-led Graham Mertz offense. Seeing himself so well today, and I think Derek Mason as well for this football team. He said something to us this week down to the Bama game. If they win, Florida beats Bama, and he plays well, he's going to win the Heisman. Here's an end zone lob. That's going to be intercepted.